The pancreas, a vital organ tucked away in our abdomen, holds a crucial role in our body's daily functions. This small but mighty organ performs two main duties. Firstly, it releases enzymes into our digestive system to help break down food, particularly fats and proteins. Secondly, it produces hormones, including insulin, which helps to regulate the amount of sugar in our blood. But like any other part of our body, the pancreas can be susceptible to diseases. Conditions such as pancreatitis, an inflammation of the pancreas, or more seriously pancreatic cancer, can disrupt its normal function. These diseases can turn this powerhouse of an organ into a source of significant discomfort and health issues. When this organ faces trouble, it sends out signs that we often overlook. Recognizing these early warning signals is key to ensuring the health of not just our pancreas, but our overall well-being. One of the earliest signs of pancreatic issues is abdominal pain. This discomfort often lurks in the upper abdomen or radiates around the back. It's not your run-of-the-mill stomach ache, but a persistent, nagging pain that might even disturb your sleep. Now it's crucial to understand the difference between acute and chronic pain. Acute pain is sudden and severe, often a result of inflammation or infection, while chronic pain lingers, subtly hinting at an underlying issue. When it comes to pancreatic health, both types of pain are significant. They could suggest conditions like pancreatitis, a sudden inflammation, or pancreatic cancer which tends to creep up slowly. If you find yourself grappling with persistent abdominal discomfort, it's essential to seek medical attention. Don't dismiss it as just another upset stomach or the result of last night's dinner. Persistent pain should never be ignored. It's your body's way of sounding an alarm. If you've been shedding pounds without trying it could be more than just a lucky break. Unexplained weight loss, particularly when coupled with changes in appetite or eating habits, can be a potential sign of a pancreatic disease. Now we're not talking about shedding a couple of pounds after a stressful week. We're referring to significant weight loss that happens without changes to diet or exercise. You see, when the pancreas is under duress, it can struggle to produce the necessary enzymes for digestion. This results in nutrients from food passing through the body undigested, leading to weight loss. It's like running a car without fuel. The body starts using its reserves, leading to weight loss again. So, if you find yourself losing weight unexpectedly, it's essential to consider what your body might be telling you. It's crucial to keep an eye on sudden changes in your weight and eating habits. Our skin often reflects our internal health and the pancreas is no exception. Let's focus on how changes in skin color, particularly jaundice, can be an early sign of pancreatic diseases. Jaundice is characterized by a yellowish tint to the skin and the whites of the eyes, often accompanied by dark urine and pale stools. It occurs when the liver can't process a substance called bilirubin, which can build up in the body if the pancreas is not functioning properly. Another noteworthy symptom is skin discoloration. Darkening or reddening of the skin may occur due to inflammation or cancerous changes in the pancreas, leading to changes in the circulation of blood and nutrients. These signs might be subtle, but they are crucial. They are your body's way of sending an SOS, signaling that something might be wrong with your pancreas. Changes in skin color, especially yellowing of the skin and eyes, should never be brushed aside. The pancreas plays a crucial role in our digestion. When it's unhappy, our stomach follows suit. Now, let's talk about some common digestive issues linked to pancreatic disease. These can range from seemingly innocuous symptoms like nausea and vomiting, to more noticeable changes such as diarrhea. But one major red flag, oily, foul-smelling stools. This happens because the pancreas isn't producing enough enzymes to break down fats, causing them to be excreted undigested. This condition, known as steatorrhea, can also result in stools that are unusually pale, large, or difficult to flush away. Remember, these symptoms might not always mean pancreatic disease. They can indicate other digestive disorders too. But if you're experiencing these symptoms consistently, it's essential to get them checked out. Ignoring these signals from your body might lead to complications down the line. Persistent gastrointestinal symptoms warrant a visit to the doctor. Your blood sugar levels can be a window into your pancreatic health. This little organ nestled deep within your abdomen plays a crucial role in regulating your body's glucose levels. When your pancreas is functioning as it should, it maintains a delicate balance releasing insulin to lower high blood sugar and glucagon to raise low blood sugar. However, pancreatic diseases can disrupt this balance, leading to noticeable fluctuations in your blood sugar levels. You might experience hyperglycemia or high blood sugar, which can cause symptoms like frequent urination, increased thirst, and unexplained weight loss. 
On the other hand, you might encounter hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, which can leave you feeling shaky, sweaty, and hungry even after a meal. These fluctuations are not just random occurrences. They could be your body's way of signaling that your pancreas isn't operating at its best. So, keeping a regular check on your blood glucose levels is a wise health move. Feeling drained and weak could be more than just a result of a busy day. Persistent fatigue and weakness can actually be early signs of pancreatic disease. These symptoms often go unnoticed, as they can be easily attributed to our hectic modern lifestyles. However, when your body is consistently feeling low on energy, it could be signaling a potential problem with your pancreas. This organ plays a pivotal role in our digestion and hormone regulation. When it's not performing optimally due to diseases like pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer, one may experience an unshakable sense of tiredness or weakness. The pancreas's function in breaking down food and regulating our blood sugar levels directly impacts our energy levels. Therefore, if something's amiss, your energy levels could take a hit. It's crucial to listen to your body and not brush off constant fatigue or weakness as mere signs of stress, as these could potentially be your body's SOS for help. Pancreatic disease can sometimes be the villain behind the onset of diabetes. To understand this, we need to take a closer look at the role our pancreas plays. This small but mighty organ produces insulin, a hormone that regulates the amount of sugar in our bloodstream. In conditions such as pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer, this insulin production can get disrupted, leading to an imbalance in blood sugar levels. This imbalance can often trigger the development of diabetes mellitus, a chronic condition that can have far-reaching health implications if left unchecked. It's important to remember that not all cases of diabetes are linked to pancreatic disease. However, if you've been recently diagnosed with diabetes and there's no obvious reason, such as a family history or lifestyle factors, it might be worth having a conversation with your healthcare provider about potential pancreatic issues. If you're recently diagnosed with diabetes without a clear cause, consider testing for pancreatic issues. Sometimes our genes can make us more susceptible to pancreatic disease. Our family history can play a pivotal role in our likelihood of developing such conditions. Both inherited genes and mutations that occur over our lifetime can contribute to the onset of pancreatic disease, including pancreatitis and pancreatic cancer. It's not about being doomed by our DNA but rather understanding that certain genetic factors may increase our risk. This understanding can empower us to take proactive steps towards early detection and prevention. Genetic testing and counseling can be incredibly valuable tools for those with a strong family history of pancreatic disease. These options can help at-risk individuals and families to understand their potential predispositions and to make informed decisions about their health. In essence, knowing your family's health history and understanding any potential genetic factors can be a key part of your defense strategy. Awareness of your family's health history can help you stay one step ahead. Early detection can make all the difference when dealing with pancreatic disease. The pancreas, often working quietly in the background, plays a pivotal role in our digestion and hormone regulation. When it's under siege by diseases such as pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer, it sends out subtle SOS signals that we've been discussing. Catching these signs early can lead to more effective treatment and better outcomes. That's where screening and early detection come into play, especially for those in high-risk populations. Available screening methods include imaging tests for a detailed look at the organ and blood tests to identify certain biomarkers. These tests combined with regular physician checkups can help maintain your pancreatic health. Remember this silent organ doesn't always scream out loud when it's in distress. But with routine screenings and your newfound awareness of potential warning signs, you're well equipped to listen. Regular checkups are your best defense against pancreatic diseases.